I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 28 FE. This is one of the largest couples models in the lineup, and it's a great floor plan. You have dual or uh, two slides, rather. You have the super slide right over here, and then you have a slide-out bed right there in the back. And as you can see, it is, does make a nice open space when you are at the campsite. We'll take a look right here at the kitchen. You'll notice that you do have some decent prep space, a little bit over to the side, but that is amplified by the pop-up countertop here, so you have this space. Also, on the other side of the sink, you have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover, so you can utilize this as prep space as well. If you need to do some cooking, no problem, flip that up and back. Doubles as a backsplash. You'll see the three burners there. The knobs do light up. You can turn that off if you so choose, and then underneath is an oven. We take a look at the storage down here. You'll see the big drawer right beneath the oven. You have a spot for a trash can, which is wonderful, right there underneath the sink, exactly where you want it. And you have plenty of drawer space. You swing this open, you'll see you have three full extension drawers there. So you have a spot for your flatware and everything else uh, that you need to bring with you. Large single basin stainless steel sink. It is very deep, so you can put a lot of larger pots and pans in there. High rise pull out faucet here as well. Then you will also see the power tower. So that just drops right down if you don't need to use it. If you do, you pull it up just like so. You'll see your three standard outlets as well as a dual USB port there. You can see the large window in the kitchen, so that way it lets in a lot of natural light. Also gives you a great view out to your campsite. Storage along the top will actually start right over here, right above the door. I like to show this because as you can see, this one does have the Blu-ray player there. And then you have another shelf right underneath for any extra components. So if you want to bring something else with you, like a, a gaming system or something, you know, if you plan on having kids or grandkids, you can certainly do that. Right next to that, you have your large uh, kind of pantry storage area. You'll see that they give you shelves, but they are adjustable, which is great. So that way you can kind of adjust it to your needs. Storage up above the microwave. The microwave itself, of course, is right there. And then moving over is the large pantry. You'll see how deep this is, which is wonderful. And at the bottom of it, you have these two uh, pull-out drawers here. So, you know, it's great if you have, uh, you know, some, some like boxed goods or canned goods. You can easily slide them right in there. Moving over to the side a little bit further is your fridge-freezer combo. Open that up for you. You can see plenty of room. Couple of drawers right down below. This unit does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. And up top is more storage. You'll notice that because it opens overhead, it has this strut there. So that way it's easy one hand operation. Coming around the other side, we'll open this up real quick. You'll see the uh, hanging rod there because this is obviously your wardrobe. So it gives you a great spot to hang your clothes. There's actually a couple of them in here, which is wonderful. Uh, but that is just one of them right there. And then two drawers right underneath that. We take a look in the back corner. As I mentioned, it is a slide-out bed. Uh, queen bed here. It is a folded, uh, foldable mattress because it does come in on the slide. Right over here on the nightstand, you will see you have your standard outlet as well as a 12-volt and dual USB port there. The other side just has your standard 110. You also have shelves on both sides, windows on both sides of the slide for cross-ventilation at night. Large storage up top with LED lights underneath there. And you have a big window right here on the back that is also an emergency exit. You'll also see right here, you do have a spot to mount a TV with the connection. So if you want a TV in the bedroom, you can easily accommodate that. And your thermostat is also right down here. This does control both your furnace as well as the AC. Right underneath that, you have a control here for the lights in the bedroom. And then also your slide control for the bedroom is back there. So we take a look at the bathroom. Uh, you'll see the foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so that way it stays nice and clean for a lot longer. It's easier to clean. It doesn't get the staining like some of the plastic bowls do sometimes. You can see I have plenty of leg room. Great shoulder space here too. Right next to me is the toilet paper roll, so it's easy to access. It's already installed. You have some storage underneath the sink. Maybe able to fit a small trash can in there. Stainless steel bowl. Mirrored medicine cabinet right up top with storage behind that. It is a little, little foggy. The unit's still a little cold here. Uh, you'll see robe hooks. You have one on the wall. You also have two on the door, so plenty of places to hang your towels up. 
And then the shower, I'll take a step in here to show you. So I'm six foot, as you can see, I have a ton of space. Even if you're, you know, six, four, six, five, you can still shower in here, no problem. Uh, you have the big skylight right up top, a hand wand here as well. The shower base is very stable. You don't feel like you're gonna fall through it or anything like that. And then you have some shelves in the back there for some of your other uh, essentials in the shower, like your soap, shampoo, things like that. So I talked about a couple of wardrobes. Here is the other one. So they're kind of right across from each other, which is really nice. Again, a couple big drawers right underneath that. And right on the other side, you get into the super slide. So you'll see the dinette. This is a dream style dinette. Uh, the reason they call it that is because it is pretty easy to set up and tear down. If you want to break this down into a bed, there's a lever right underneath here. You just take that lever, you can see how it kind of locks in place. Flip that over just like so, and that will allow you to push the bed down. Then you can take the cushions, throw it on top, get that uh, sleeping space right here. So you'll also notice this has some cup holders in it, which is great. So, you know, obviously you can use that when you're at the park or wherever you may be. But also, if you're riding here, this one does have two seat belts, so you can utilize those cup holders while going down the road. May not seem like a big deal if you've never uh, ridden in an RV, but I'm telling you, when you're going down the road, if you stop at like McDonald's, something like that, those cups tend to fall all over as you're traveling. So having those is pretty handy. Storage all the way across the top of the entire slide, both above the dinette and above the sofa. And again, because they open up, they did put struts in here for supports. LED lights underneath. You'll also see a USB uh, port right in the center. So if you're sitting there, you can charge cell phones. You have an electrical outlet, your 110 underneath the dinette as well. So you'd have a couple different options. As I mentioned, storage all the way across here, LED lights and speakers underneath. Plus again, you have uh, electrical outlets. You'll have one here, one on the other side. So plenty of plugins in the 28FE. Some more cup holders right here. Uh, jackknife style sofa and again, if we open this up or lift it up a little bit, you can see right underneath there, folks, you have more seat belts. So, uh, you know, you can have an additional couple passengers here, which is awesome. Uh, so that way, you know, you can have basically take the whole family if you want. This does drop down into a bed just like the dinette did. And then, of course, the other bed besides your queen in the back is right up top. The reason I love this in a Freedom Elite is because this bed has a 500 pound weight capacity. A lot of the times your cab overs will have somewhere between like 300 to 350. Having that 500 is a big deal because if you want two adults to sleep up here, it can accommodate that fairly easily. Uh, also, you have a ladder so you can climb up there nice and easy and all these cushions are removable. So if you know it's just going to be the two of you, you don't plan on using it for any sleeping space, you can take all the cushions out and then you can just use all this up here for storage, which is pretty nice. Uh, you do have a window up there as well as a vent in case uh, you know it gets warm. You can kind of get the cross ventilation there if you don't want to run the AC. TV is right over here to the side. It is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to swing that over to watch it from the dinette or sofa, you can easily do that as well. And again, do remember that that is connected to that Blu-ray player right up top. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2019 Ford Freedom Elite 28FE. This big boy is built on the Ford E450 chassis, housing the 6.8 liter V10, which puts out 305 horsepower and 420 foot-pounds of torque. Right up top is the front cap there. Not only does that look great, but it also helps prevent some water penetration and adds insulation up there for any guests that are sleeping in the cab. Of course, you have the extended mirrors. So that way you can see beyond the home portion here. It is the bi-directional mirrors. You have little smaller ones in the corner to help cover some of those blind spots. Large power awning, touch a button to roll that out. Same thing, to go right back in. And you have an LED light strip there, so you have light at night. If we open up the door here, uh, you'll notice the, the upgraded handle they have in here. This is something they changed about a year or two ago. It's nice and sturdy, works very, very well. The screen here as well, you'll see it has a handle on both sides. Just a nice little addition that we don't have to constantly open this up to grab the handle. Right here in the steps is where your batteries are located. You'll see that you do have room for a second one if you want a second one in there. Uh, that obviously just locks right down. Uh, you know, we didn't cover this inside, but if you take a look right in here, you'll see some of your main controls. There is a battery disconnect right here as well. So if you need to kill all power to the coach, you have that. It also has a solar controller built in. So this one is prepped for solar actually on the roof. So if you want solar panels installed, it's nice and easy to do so. It's already pre-wired. The controller is already built into the coach for you, which is great. If we take a look at the sidewall here, we'll open up the 
TV compartment. So there you are, you have an outside entertainment center and you see the sound bar underneath that is Bluetooth capable as well. Uh, it's at a great height though. You know, a lot of times they mount them really high, but here you can set the chairs up all around it. You have a great shot to it and it's underneath the awning so it'll help keep some of the sun off it so you don't get all the glare on the TV. Good uh, storage and very easy access right here on the camp side. You'll see you have not one, but two bins here. Both of them are rotocast, so it's super easy to clean. It's not gonna rust out on you or anything, and you have lights in both compartments in case you need to access that at night. You'll also see a couple electrical outlets in case you need to plug anything in. And the sidewall itself is what they call HD Max fiberglass. It's a higher end, high gloss fiberglass that's on here. Uh, you can see your reflection in it, especially on a sunny day. You don't have to, uh, you know, worry about any, you know, any kind of scratches or anything on here. It is colored all the way through, so that way it's, you know, if it does get scratched, it's not white behind there. And also, you know, because it's so shiny, it kind of almost gives that illusion of paint without having to pay all of the money for it. Another thing I really like about the Freedom Elite is the fact that they color match all these outside components. So, you know, if it's the back of your refrigerator, the back of your furnace here, you will see that it is color matched to the fiberglass. And if there's any decals running through there, they did run it right over it to help incorporate everything. It really gives it a very streamlined look. If you plan on going somewhere, you don't have city water, you want to make sure you fill the fresh water tank. That is where that will be located. You will see the slide right here. Notice that it does have a slide out topper on there that does come as a standard on the Freedom Elite. Uh, and also it uses a Schwintech slide system. Now, uh, you know, years ago, Schwintech was under some fire, but I'm telling you folks, it is one of the best systems out there. It is uh, worm gear driven. The thing with Schwintech though, is if you, you have to make sure that you have uh, essentially good voltage to the coach. So either have shore power when you run your slides in and out or run your generator when you run the slides in and out. And then when you do, just hold the button for a little bit and when it's all the way out there, you'll actually hear that it has two motors. You'll actually hear those motors sync up with each other. Uh, the reason I say that is because a lot of people are like, oh, you know, Schwintech, Schwintech doesn't work very well. It's not, you know, it's a bad system and that is not at all true. It is a great system. You just have to know how to use it. Those two motors, once they're synced up, are near flawless. They will work very, very, very well. We take a look underneath here. I'll open this up. You see the uh, large storage compartment again on the camp side. It is underneath a slide, but the slide's high enough. It's very accessible. You'll see, a, you, again, your light right over here. And this is cool too. So as I was talking about that Schwintech slide, this is one of the other things I really like about it. The control for it's right here. It's very easy to access. In the rare event that there is a failure, you know, again, if you try to move it and the, the voltage is just too low and the, the motors just get out of sync, you can push this uh, seven times and it will give you a code so that way you know what's wrong with it. You can also swap some of the wires here. You can uh, basically take these two out, swap them, and it'll swap the ex uh, extend and retract, and that will a lot of times let you actually push it back in. Otherwise, you can actually unplug those. You can get a, a, you know, a couple people and manually push the slide in, and then put them back on. That will activate the brakes. That way you're not stuck out at the campsite with a slide that won't go in. So again, great slide system. You'll see that it has a lot of uh, fail safes built in. Right over here, I'll open this up. This is actually your propane quick connect. Super easy to access. I like that they put it in its own compartment. A lot of times it's underneath, it's harder to reach. Here you just pop it open, that way you can do a lot of grilling right here outside. Rear mounted ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. This obviously makes it so you don't have to bring one. Especially in a class C, you generally don't get large compartments for things like ladders. So you definitely, uh, you know, having one is definitely a, a, a great thing to have. Right there in the center backup camera, you, or <laughs> center light, you will see the backup camera. So that way as you're going in reverse, you're gonna make sure you're not gonna hit anything. The bumper on here is painted. Again, they're trying to color match everything, make it look nice, and that's exactly what they did. But because it is painted, you'll see they put the grip tape on here as well. So if you are climbing on that ladder and it's wet, you're not gonna slip on the painted bumper, you have some traction. Underneath, that is a 8,000 pound hitch. Folks, most manufacturers will put on a 3,000. Uh, most common is a 5,000, but the Freedom Elite has an 8,000 pound hitch. So if you plan on doing some heavier towing, whether it's a larger vehicle or a trailer, something else behind you, uh, you definitely have the hitch to do it. Right over here is your black tank flush. So uh, this obviously does exactly what it says, washes out your black tank. Instead of sticking a hose down your toilet, you just screw it in right there. It has sprayers built in the tank to wash everything out for you so you're not getting those smells. Helps keep things nice and clean. You'll also notice your 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right here. Your cable inlet, city water inlet uh, a little bit further up there. 
Your termination is right down here. Both your black and gray tank valves are located there. Fuel fill right here on the uh, driver's side, nice and easy to get to. If we take a look underneath, you will see you have some uh, storage right here. And again, you have your slide control for the slide on this side, nice and easy to get at. You will also see uh, your light right there. Propane access to your propane tank. Pop that open so you can take a look at that. And then over one further is the 4,000 watt Cummins Zone and Generator. So that way you are self-sufficient. So if you want to run the AC, TV, everything inside the coach, and you don't have shore power, you can turn that on and it'll do the job for you. All right, folks, and inside the 28FE, when the slides are both closed up, so this is what it'll be like when it's traveling, you'll see you still have plenty of space here to move around. So that way, if you need to pull over on the side of the road and use the refrigerator, need to you know, make yourself some lunch, you can easily do that. Or if you need to make your way back to the bathroom, as you will see, there is plenty of space to head right on in. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Thor Freedom Elite 28FE. If you're interested in this gorgeous Class C and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.